Alright guys, uh, just uh, before the video, I just wanted to say um, thank you to the imposter. He's a viewer of mine. He sent me a picture of his awesome dog, so this dog is awesome. I'm not really sure the name, but um, I can guarantee it is a beast mode dog. Um, he's been watching my videos and he hopes I grow larger and larger. And yeah, so I really thank you to the imposter and let's get into the video. What's going on guys, Burrito here, and today we're back with another video. Today I'm going to be making another Discord video, and today it's going to be on Dino Premium. So uh, this is the Discord bot Dino. Um, it's very similar to the Mi6 bot. Um, I had Mi6 Premium, um, and I still do actually. You guys, I'll link that video in the description below, so you guys can check that one out. We'll be comparing Mi6 Premium to Dino Premium, which one is better. Um, just the overall, like, look to Dino Premium, and then I'll share my thoughts at the end, but, uh, let's jump right into it. Alrighty. So we're on the same screen as we were before. But, um, so you can see, so we're at the dashboard right now. I do have Premium. It says Premium right there. And when you get Dino Premium, it does actually make you... Um, invite the premium bot. So if we scroll down here, it's it gives you the Dino Premium bot. You can tell it's the premium one because it has gold right there or yellow. Usually it has blue um, when it's just the regular bot, not upgraded. So that's just a fun fact. So it asks you for your region and all that stuff and how many voice channels. It automatically does that just for a general look. Then it tells you how many members you have. I actually did know I had 113, so that's pretty cool. Then you can change the nickname of the bot, which I thought was actually really cool. But then again, it really doesn't matter because you can easily go into your Discord server and right click on someone's name and press change nickname. So that's cool. It's just a little unnecessary. You can change the command prefix. I think that's really cool because there's a lot of bots that have the same prefix, especially the exclamation point. So that's pretty cool for the... Um, dashboard. Now if you go to server listing, it is kind of like an advertising um, bot. It lets you like just do a, just a simple advertisement on their website. So if you go to dino.gg, it shows you some websites. Um, I, I'm still trying to figure out how to work this. It shows that I have their logo. I don't know if I can customize that or not, but you can just put your own advertisement on their website. Then let's go to modules. So modules, this is where it kind of gets to um, the simple uh, Mi 6 so you can do different loggings and it's just like every plugin that uh, Mi 6 has Dino has and Dino it seems like Dino has a lot more because they have like fun they have message embedder they have auto responders so they have a lot more um, some are a little bit unnecessary and some are very necessary um, I like the welcome one personally I don't use it because I guess I have a different bot that is that sets up the welcome, but uh, yeah. So that's the type of plugins that they have, and you can obviously turn them on and turn them off. And it gives you a simple um, description of all of them. And if you guys are not new to the channel, you've seen my Me Six videos before. How I go over all the plugins. I will be going over all of these plugins in different bunches in the next few videos. So don't worry. That's why I'm kind of skimming over them, but. Uh, we'll be saving all of these for a little later because we have to go over these, but we'll just go over them just on a little skim through. So there's the audit log. Obviously, audit logs is a big, big, um, like, help to your server. I can show you a good example of audit logs. So it just tells you pretty much anything and everything when something happens. So I think that's very helpful because sometimes the regular audit logs in server settings doesn't actually help that much. So, um... You know, it's just nice to have two different sources of information. Um, you have auto delete, so that's like a purge. You can delete different messages. You have auto message where it sends different messages in a different time interval. So maybe I can do uh, my general chat and then I send a message like, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. I don't do that because I don't really promote my YouTube channel that much, but uh, that's what you could do. You can do auto purge, like purge messages at, every sing at any minute. There's auto mod, which um, I'm pretty much going over just everything that's here comes with premium. So I recommend that if 
uh, this is just like out of my head real quick. Um, I recommend going to the Dino Bot without premium and then um, just compare that to this video and then you can see all of the add-ons that I got with this video and that's why I'm kind of going over everything as a whole because this is like everything that you unlock is when you have premium you unlock everything but when you don't have premium obviously it, le it leaves out some different um, add-ons that's why they make you pay for premium so yeah all right, back to what we were doing. So there's auto mod. So auto mod obviously has banned words, spam, all that stuff. Um, I don't have banned words. I have I, any word in my server is heck. Okay, I don't know how to word this. You can write any word, but depending on the word will be a consequence. I don't want it to automatically delete the word because I want proof of a word being in there or I want someone to see it and report it because I don't like everything being deleted. Discord invites, I really don't care that much if someone invites their, their own server or my server because um, it's automatically going to get deleted and that person's automatically going to get banned. So, and pretty much like everyone points that out when it happens, so it doesn't matter that much. Then there's autoresponder. That's kind of like DMs or if someone says something in a chat, it'll respond. Kind of like a custom command, which I'll show you in a bit. That's a really big thing that I liked about Dino, custom commands. So you have auto roll, obviously, like when someone joins a server, for instance, when someone joins my server, they get UGL member and then that. So I'll give you a good example. So if we go to, we're in staff right now, general chat. Oh, sick. But um, if we go to just a regular member, so he joined the server and he has the UGL member role and then he has that line. So when he goes to the self roles, he can put all of his self roles under there and it kind of separates. So that's kind of why. Then there's custom commands. I have tons of commands you can see. Um, what I did is I kind of copied them and I threw them in here. So if you do like, we'll just do uh, exclamation point Snickers. Let's go to the general chat. Just to give you guys a little example of what it looks like. Dog, real owner. So it's like just a little meme that you can put or you can do an actual, um, like an actual information. So like if someone does YouTube, it sends them straight to my YouTube channel. Um, so yeah, there's message embedder. So if you want to do embeds on a message, um, then you can obviously do that. Um, if you, then there's auto mod, which is kind of a more in-depth when we were looking at the auto delete and auto stuff, this is like the whole th the whole mod, right? So it just like shows you everything. You can enable the module up there, so you can just do it. You don't have to have the drop down menu. You can customize different messages. So like when someone's banned, instead of it saying user was banned, you can say this member was was um, unfortunately banned from the Ultimate Gaming Lunch Discord server uh, for breaking the rules. I hope you have a nice day. Sorry for this inconvenience, like stuff like that. So you can customize everything. That's kind of like a really big motif, or motif is like um, a common, a reoccurrence of topics in Discord bots, is there's a lot of customization. If you have a Discord bot and there's not much customization, I say leave it out because then it's not, it's just not useful. Then after the moderation is kind of like when it gets loosey goosey. These are um, very not needed, but it's cool to have. Like you can link your Reddit. What if you're a big redditor? You can have um, different posts automatically go to your server. You can do slow modes, which once again very unnecessary because you can just go into a text channel, right click on it, edit channel, and then you can go to slow mode and just like make it insane or just yeah, pretty much you can just do it through Discord. Then there's tags, which is just, there's just a tag list, like let's say there's different rules, you have a different tag. Then, one thing that um, I've had mixed feelings about, not me, but a bunch of members in my server, is voice text linking. Okay, so let me give you an example. So since I'm an administrator, I can see this, but I'm gonna be showing you guys a little bit of a sneak peek for my next video. I'm gonna, uh, my next video, I'm going to be going over the uh, new update on Discord. And one of the updates is you can view server as this role, right? So I'm viewing the server as um, an ultimate gamer. So I don't have many permissions. Um, so this is what it looks like. So you can see that 
Right now it shows me my lounges and um, it doesn't show me staff. So that's a little bit of a difference. So it, it, that's pretty much what it looks like. But my whole point here is um, that there are different lounges. So for instance, let me go in Devin real quick. If I join Gamer Lounge 1, or Gamer Lounge 2, sorry. So I have Gamer Lounge 2 and Private Lounge 2 set up for this. Views roll. Dismiss. Um, I guess it doesn't work. Never mind. So usually for an Ultimate Gamer, or pretty much anyone in the server, let me disable this. You can see that I got a ping here. So when you join these channels, you can you can uh, specify which channels you want. So you can see that I made it Gamer Lounge 2 and Private Lounge 2. So you, when you join Gamer Lounge 2, you get a message in Gamer Lounge 2. And when you join Private Lounge 2, you get a message in Private Lounge 2, right? So that might not make much sense, but let me give you a visual, okay? So right here, since I'm an administrator, I can see these two text channels. As you saw before, when I was an Ultimate Gamer, you cannot see these. The reason being is when I'm an administrator, I bypass a bunch of permissions, blah, blah, blah. But the whole point of this is when you join these specific text channels, you can have as many as you want. I just have them customized to these two. You get a little notification and you just unlocked a private text channel. So these can be used for like tournaments or something. Let's say you're working on a project and you don't want to use general chat for it. You can just type in this text channel that is private to the voice channel. And when someone leaves, it says, that person left, see you later fellow gamer. And then when someone joins, it says, has joined, chats are moderated by staff, and this will be cleared automatically. So it's cleared when someone, when someone, I don't really know how to word this. For me, it shows all of the messages, kind of like an audit log. It shows me all of the messages and they're not cleared. But when someone else that doesn't have the administrator permission joins, they see a blank text channel and they can type. The reason I said I had mixed feelings in the beginning of this is because you can see pretty much no one has typed in here, right? So it's very, very, very unused. I used to have it on every single voice channel. Then we kind of had a server vote and everyone voted off the voice text linking. So it is a cool thing to have. Many servers like um, Tech Sources server, they use it a lot. I know those. that is a very, very like popular uh, add on to the server, but for other servers, members just don't like it. So it's kind of a gamble, but it is just a cool add on to have. Then like earlier, we got the welcome. So um, I guess we do have the welcome message. That's, hmm. I was wrong. All right, well, you can see that right there, ultimategamingnowledge.com. That's our website. So if you want to see any more updates, go on there. A little bit of a uh, self promo. Then we got just commands pretty much just like just all of the commands you can do. Um, ignore user, role, mentionable, pretty much anything. That's why Dino has, it's kind of like gearing my vote over me six, just because of the pure amount of like more stuff that it has than me six. Then it has the music queue, just like rhythm bot. Um, it just, there are no songs in the queue because no one's listening to music right now. But uh, once again, a little bit, unnecessary because everyone uses rhythm bot but you know that's okay so uh overall it was uh i think it's a great bot i would definitely recommend it the premium definitely helps out um i'm not really sure let's see how much the premium costs the premium for me six is five dollars i know that for a fact so let's check so five dollars a month for one server so they're the same price so overall if you're if you're looking to uh, buy premium on anything i'd say go for dino um i just say dino is overall a better bot it is a hard transition to switch because they are very different but once you learn how to use dino it's just a lot it's a lot better so that's pretty much it look for more videos in the future on dino bot because i know there are so much more stuff to go over so that's pretty much it if you want to join my discord server you can click on the link in the description we have a bunch of giveaways and tournaments community events and um something else that i forget going on we have some new game servers opening up minecraft and another one so uh, if you guys are just looking for a good place to chill and relax i'd say join my server i'm not even like advertising it to get members i'm just saying like i've had a lot of people tell me like how awesome the server is and just how much fun it is and how they're so happy they discovered it and i hope anyone that is watching this video if you guys want just a nice place to chill or play games 
my server is the place to do it, so I can guarantee that. But other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you like it, uh, make sure to smash the like button. We just hit 400 subscribers. Like, what in the heck? I don't know where we're getting all these subscribers from, but I am so thankful for it. It is so awesome. Um, we hit 100,000 channel views. Like, what the heck? Like, look at this. About... Look at that. That's crazy. 101,000 channel views. 422 subscribers. That is awesome. When we reach 500 subscribers, I'm going to do a big giveaway on my server. The only way that you can um, be entered in the giveaway is if you have... Wait a minute. You should give me a second. I'm a little bit slow on this. And a lot of people don't have this rule. Even if they are subscribed, they're just, they just don't know that it exists. So um, once the giveaway comes around, I can guarantee a ton of more people will get the rule because there's only like 20 people right here that have the role, and I have 400 subscribers. So I think I'm missing out a little bit, but yeah, that's not really the point. My point is once we reach 500 subscribers, I'm doing a giveaway. I'm not really sure what yet. I think it's cash, but we're getting off topic. So um, just to end it all off, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you like it, smash the like button. If you are new to the channel, you can hit that giant subscribe button really easy. It's free, you know, you don't have to spend any money. Unlike Dino Premium, you have to spend five dollars a month, but it's free. And if you hate me for some reason, you can unsubscribe. And yes, I am getting this from Dream, but yeah, uh, this is Ultimate Burrito from Ultimate Gaming Lounge, and I hope you guys have an ultimate day. I'll see you later. Bye.